Eagles stroll down the Riverwalk tonight. Start the fourth quarter down 13 after giving up 38 points in the third. Jefferson, the looping shot. He adjusted to midair. He wanted to go top shelf. Right, he cradled that ball like a running back and had to release it high over the top of Hibbert. Spurs got to have some energy out of this group. Hill, Mason, Blair, Jefferson, and Ginobili. Ford, no rebound, George Hill. Uh, George Hill did a much better job fighting over the top of that screen. Richard Jefferson on the drive and the foul, and we'll go to the free throw line. There you go, no hesitation. Hibbert punched away by Blair. Good hands there. Manu Ginobili, nine on the clock. Ginobili to the hole, winds his way and scores. Blair, really foul, looking for a swipe there. Hibbert steps out. Got it. On the drive, Ginobili, and he draws the foul. Hands go against Duncan. Ford over Timmy. Get out of here. That's a prayer. That ball was wet. That was so high up in the air. He had, to, he had to shoot that ball with a ton of arc to get over the top of Timmy. And T.J. Ford's got a dozen. Five of seven shooting tonight. Hill on the drive, block. The hole comes right back to Tim. Now Tim does a great job just staying in that point. First within eight. Needs something to get the fans in it here. Jefferson trying to give it to him. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas! Bulls is going top shelf, and that's about as ugly as it gets. Look at the crossover. He's putting Hansborough, everybody on that Pacers team gets a piece of that poster. That is as nasty as it gets. Richard Jefferson with a beautiful crossover going top shelf. Here, TJ Ford in trouble, loops it into Murphy. Ford on the penetration. The scoop, oh, nicely done by TJ Ford. And here's George Hill, eight on the shot clock. George firing, got it! Back out to Parker. 10 on the shot clock, Bogans to Hill. No hesitation. He had some hooey pooey sitting over there. Uh, George Hill filling it. Catches it, and like you say, no need to hesitate. Go ahead and fill that thing up. George Hill responded. Hill and double fix for 11. The Spurs have cut it to two. Murphy knocks down that jumper, and the Pacers. Push it back to a four-point lead as Troy Murphy out of Notre Dame with 21 points, seven rebounds tonight. And Timmy laying off Troy Murphy there just in case one of the guards get, gets free. He wants to be there to help defend. And that time, Murphy taking advantage, turning around and looking at a wide-open shot. Defensive three seconds is the call. Six, I believe, of their free throws. Or seven of eight in this quarter. Here is Parker on the drive. Back to Jefferson. Fakes the three. Going. Kicks it off. Timmy, no, but a foul. Oh, that just made me so nervous. I got to leave 14 points a game. Dunleavy with Bogan trying to stay tight on him. They look inside to Hibbert. Here's Dante Jones. His fake draws the foul on Richard Jefferson. 4506 for more information. Tony in the paint got crushed. I mean crushed. Wow, took a blow to the back of the head. Here's TJ Ford. Hibbert, the clear for him against Timmy. Bonner scoops up the board. Parker, Spurs, rebounding edge, 12. Parker, nope. It's okay, that's a good shot there. Got a good screen there by Tim Duncan. And that's a shot Tony normally knocks down. Dunleavy in trouble, leaves it off for Ford. Back to Hibbert. Dunleavy, no hesitation on the three. Rebound, George Hill. Here come the Spurs. Need a bucket to take the lead. Down one. 323 remaining. Playing with a lot of energy right now, though. They picked it up on the defensive end of the floor. Come back to Duncan. Doing with 15 points tonight. Off the glass. Yes, someone is good. And the Spurs take the lead. Hide out. So hopefully they'll be more concerned about getting home to L.A. than winning that ball game. Spurs needing to stop. Oh, and they got it. The offensive foul is called. And the turnover, it's on Hibbert. Third quarter. 
38 to 20, the highest scoring third quarter of the year against the Spurs. Seven on the shot clock, Manu Ginobili, the floater, way off the mark, body sprawling, two down for the Pacers, one for the Spurs. Ford looking for help, and he gets it from Dunleavy. Dante Jones against George Hill. Tim comes to harass a little bit. Makes him give up the dribble. Now nine on the shot clock. Ford against Jefferson. He'll take him inside. Parker with a steal. Excellent read by Tony. Take care of it and get a good shot here. No reason to force a bad one up there. And if you have a play, make it. That last possession, they're so concerned about getting Timmy the basketball. Guys are just getting the ball, putting it above their heads, not even making a move toward the basket. Parker from Jefferson and the Spurs extend the lead. There you go. Tony Parker with a great cut to the basket. Got to have second and third options on plays if the first, op first option isn't there. 98-95, 148 to go. T.J. Ford winding his way into the paint. Finds a wide open rush for the dunk. Armando thought that rush was coming out to the wing. He was trying to beat him out there and play the passing lane. And rush goes back door and gets an easy one. Spurs that scored six straight. Lead is back to one. 132 remaining. 16 on the shot clock. Parker with a jumper. No. That's okay. As long as the Spurs are taking shots that are given to them. And right now their defense is picked up. They made a mistake here and there. But for the most part, they've shown a lot of effort and energy on the defensive end. For the miss, Duncan and Hibbert fighting for it. And Hibbert will get credit for it. Not so sure didn't go off the team. Lead to the Pacers. But Hibbert using those long arms, just extending over the top of Timmy. Hibbert matches his career high with 20 points now. One minute to go, the ball to Duncan. Trailing by one, Tim. No, rebound. Back out, Hill. Press 24, Ginobili for three. Duncan the rebound. Plenty of time, not time to panic here. 44 seconds to go. 18 on the shot clock. Tim on Dunleavy goes up. No, not again, and hit it to rebound. Uh, you can't really ask for a better one there. Uh, Timmy was there for the tip, just didn't want to get an offensive goal, Timmy. Exactly. So, Spurs have to have the stop here. Eight on the shot clock, 16 in the game. Four. Spurs got it. Timeout, timeout. Before anybody was sprawling, the timeout was called. And just in case you miss, you want to have ample time if you miss for an offensive rebound or to foul. Spurs have two timeouts remaining. Duncan in the lane, goes up, got it blocked, got it back, goes up, dunks it! Oh, he dunks it! Spurs lead, 4.6 to go, timeout pacing. Roy Hibbert got the first one, and Timmy was not to be denied. Spin move there is strong with the basketball. Hibbert gets that first one, and he gets a taste of the second. And that's how you put it down with authority. Now, Indiana with the timeout, and the Spurs need 4.5 they got here to hold them. From anything here. Dunleavy to inbounds. Be careful on a return pass. TJ Ford taking the shot. No, rebound, Spurs win! Duncan pulls it down! Oh my! Happy holidays! <laughs> Rejoice, they beat the Pacers! In a wild comeback, 199 after being down 13!